Ida Ice Learning Center. Define default constructions. Default constructions are one of the global data items in Ida Ice. They are accessed through the general tab and by clicking onto defaults. In this interface, the user specifies default constructions, which are then attributed to the model. In the same interface, the user also specifies generator efficiencies for heating, cooling, and domestic hot water. This is, however, not covered in this tutorial. We start the attribution process by selecting the external wall construction. In the pull down menu, we select to search in the database. For the external wall, we define a concrete wall as a default construction. You will notice a little copyright sign that has appeared next to the name of the construction we've just selected. The copyright sign indicates that this is a copy from the database which has not been amended. Once we carry out alteration to this construction, the copyright sign will disappear. By clicking on the name of the construction type, the construction definition window opens up. Here we can both view the data for the construction, but we can also amend it. At the very top, there is the description for the construction and next to it a U-value definition and the thickness, both of which have been calculated based on the layer-by-layer -layer material definition which we can see down here. The Add and Delete button allows us to add and delete material layers, and we can also rearrange the order of the material layers with these two buttons. If you want to review the thermal properties of a particular material, we first select the material and then click on the right arrow next to its name. This opens up the material form which shows us the conductivity density and specific heat for this particular material. We now want to add an additional material layer to the construction. First we add the location where we want to add the layer and then we click on the Add button. We then also need to attribute a material with this new layer. What we have so far available is all the materials which have been copied across with the constructions which we've attributed in the first place. In this particular case, we now assume that we don't want to select any of these materials. So we want to go to the material database and select an item out of the central database. In this case, we are choosing a 20 mm air gap. Now we need to change the thickness to 20 mm, 0.02 meters. You can see that the U value has changed and the thickness of the construction has changed as well. Now we want to save it under a new name. So we're typing external wall type 1. And we are saving all the changes that we've applied. In a similar way like we've specified the external wall constructions, you will also need to specify all the other opaque constructions of the model. Moving on to specifying the window properties. We're clicking on the glazing, and as you can see right now no glazing type has been selected, so we're going to be choosing one from the database. In this case we are selecting a three-pane glazing system. On this interface you can see all the technical information which is attributed with this particular glazing type. The glazing U value as well as internal and external emissivity. Now we're confirming all the data we've specified so far. Far and this is all that is to know about default construction definition. Thanks for watching. We hope you found this video useful. You will find more videos if you go to help and process guides. There is a whole series of videos stored there. Under help, you will also find our getting started guide as a PDF document. Also, never hesitate to contact support or write to our forum for further questions or support. And remember to check out our website. Under events, there you can find upcoming courses. We frequently host beginners and advanced courses on various topics.